don't worry, I don't fancy you, all right? Of course you do, all men do, I'm the confuser. Is it a man? Is it a woman? Oh, I'm not sure if a man. And me. And, uh, a I've human. never been a man. That's human. perfect for me. You are quite manly, so... I'm a manly man, yeah. It would have just yeah. been a travesty if you hadn't one, but for me... I am a sort of girl, he, she, so yeah. <laughs> nice to be man of the year for once. Debatable, half man, half woman of the year. Half man, half seahorse. That's what you should have won. Half man, half woman of the year. Hey. You're a bit done up, aren't you? Exactly, that's my look. I'm trying to look like a nana who's quite saucy in the 50s. Glamour nana. Can I help you? Uh, I'm here to see Vince's brain. Have you got an appointment, darling? No. Mm. It's very important that I see the brain now. He can't, in fact, see you until July next year. <laughs> Security. What have I done? You avert your vaudevillian eyes from my dear wife. <laughs> <laughs> really like your wife's blouse. <laughs> wow, it, look what you're doing again. You're doing that thing where you fancy me and you're pretending not to. In yeah. front of you. <laughs> Yeah, Richard, can I just say, your wife's got beautiful boots. Thank you. <laughs> they, they've got a lovely, um, heel. <laughs> wow. Wasn't hey. quite we'll worth the ramp up. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. They've got a lovely heel. <laughs> <laughs> With a, a girl, lady. Um, oh. He calls me his lady. <laughs> Stop it. Oi, no women in here. It's me, Vince. Vincey, <laughs> yeah. I thought I'd lost you forever. You look <laughs> like a stay at home wife in your dress and your apron. Can you pipe down, please? I've had a long day. I've been doing the washing up and the kids are tired. It looks like a stay at home wife in the nightmare before Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> About it. I'm not sure I fancy you as a domestic wife. Wife. But you're you you're undecided though, <laughs> aren't you? <laughs> I think I was... Mommy nailed it. <laughs> <laughs> da, 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 Mommy's barking. Da, da. Oh. Now, now this... Mommy does all the hard work, daddy dishes out the point. <laughs> Enough! Now you shall burn. You and your wife with the ridiculous hair. Ridiculous hair? Have you seen yours? No, I now pronounce you wife and ducky. You may kiss the duck. Oh. Oh. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm very confused as to how I'm feeling towards you. I'm, I'm sensing new emotions I never felt before. How is that for you? Um, I loved it. God, God, you're beautiful. I just didn't want to let Kate down. You didn't? Ah. Well, let's find out if the panel think you did, though. It's unlikely, but Lee Mack, what are you thinking? You know, I've, I've watched this programme many times, and a lot of comedians will come out here and they will play the opposite gender just to get cheap laughs. But tonight, <laughs> finally, <laughs> this young lady came out here and was happy to be herself. And for that, she's my winner so far. Ah, ah, beautiful. You and your wife must go on without me. But we're nearly there. I like to be in a dress, actually. I got into wearing dresses in LA. Yeah. So we, the last, we did sort of some touring out there in the bush, and I had a dress on in the last sort of song of the show. And I just kept it on and went out to parties. Did you do the whole to... heels as well? Or? I had big platform boots on, yeah. Oh, but it's God. so comfortable. I think I'm a transvestite. It's so comfortable, just for sort of comfort reasons. It's like a short dress. But it was LA, it was really hot at night. We went to loads of pool parties, and I was like, yeah, a little mini dress and big boots. And I went, this is my look. I found my look. And what underneath, <laughs> dare I ask? Super makeup on, I look frightening. Like a sort of a, a gothic auntie with yeah, quite good legs though. What? All right, Tess. Oh, <laughs> oh perfect Paris, Marie Antoinette. It's all exactly right. Yeah. Made a big sacrifice, so you better win. This is what I do for you, kids. All right. So make it count in the bacon. That is quite a costume. Mysterious girl! Were you just shouting at me, mysterious girl? I was. <laughs> you really are a mystery. <laughs> <laughs>
You, young lady, anything? Oh, that's you. Joan Jack. Who are you <laughs> Angelina Jolie. But Thank we've both you. gone for women. Who's <laughs> <laughs> Joan Jack? She was in the Runaways. She's like a student. I love rock and roll. Put another dime in the chip but No, no point. Not you, dick brain. I'm talking about hoochie coochie pants in there. The man does have his standards. We don't often get a little cute nubile princess like that around here. At one point, Topshop did years ago. No, no, it didn't happen. I would do a fashion line, yeah. No, I wouldn't actually. I don't really know enough about making clothes. I still prefer that. women's clothes to men's clothes. But I would imagine. You're kind of a bit of a transvestite, wear. huh? <laughs> more women would wear it. I kind of like dress wearing dresses. I sort of realised I was a bit of a tranny. I sort of was thinking about Eddie Izzard and Grace and Perry, and I realised that I quite like wearing women's clothes, but I never really even thought, I never even bothered giving it a label or went, oh yeah, I like, I'm a transvestite. I just went, yeah, I just wear, if I fancy wearing a dress, I do. Never really thought about it, really. Do you wear dresses out and about? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. Usually on the night out, though, not just to the supermarket. <laughs> I do sometimes. Can't believe that I've revealed I'm a transvestite in this interview. <laughs> it's fine. I'm gonna wipe out humanity, starting with you, lady man. <laughs> I look like a woman in every episode. Oh, so, an ugly woman. What do you mean every episode? A day. I'm sorry. I was trying to take the androgyny to the kids, but I think I've slightly overdone it. <laughs> androgyny from Hasbro. <laughs> androgyny. Everybody does it. Children are both male, and, both female and male, aren't they? Until a, yeah. Until a, twenty-eight. Until a, an event. <laughs> until they go to a disco. Until an event, what like a carnival? Or <laughs> Jumble. So they run an Ferris wheel. them into a certain gender. <laughs> Yeah, or unlocks them. Look at man and wife. Man and wife, this man and like wife. This is like George Mildred this episode, isn't it? <laughs> was Noel a very theatrical child? Yes, very much so. In fact, he was always seeing my clothes. And, um, <laughs> and it was the daughter that I always wanted. I'm dressed as the Virgin Mary in a dress again, looking type cast. I sort of am the woman in the bush. Yeah, we don't have any women in the bush. Well, we do, you know, but not as in the main cast. So... It's a little bit like Terry and June. Me and June. And I'm June. I am Electro Boy. I am Electro Girl. Jack, what did you think? I, it was just, I, it was beguiling, it was beautiful, it was <laughs> elegant. And it's left me worrying about my personal issues. I, I think, <laughs> no, next time I'm intimate with a lady and I shut my eyes, I will see you. And what worries me even more is that that will not disappoint me. You are beautiful. <laughs> if that's what Jack's saying, I'm scared to even ask. Keith, what are you, what are you thinking? No, well, um, you're very funny on television. It's fantastic. And also, but when, you, when you dress, you remind me of Dracula normally. Um, and also look a bit like a hawk man. Uh, but tonight, uh, you remind me of Blossom from the 80s TV show Blossom. <laughs> and you also remind me of Bev from Brookside. I don't remember her. You and your lady friend can have a special time together. I'll even give you a discount. 40 euro. It's a deal. I don't know what you're talking about. These are the only clothes I had left that were clean. <laughs> the agenda blurring. I've been doing it for a long time. <laughs> it's not as easy to do for me now because I'm getting older, so I'm looking more like a man, whereas I used to be able to do it when I was 17. Is it a girl? Is it a boy? I'm not sure. But now I have to actually make myself. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a second. I could just click my heels together. It worked! <laughs> Are you guys going to start the show or what? I had some kind of weird dream. I'm not sure it was a dream. Paul still doesn't have a heart. Business as usual. Hmm. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Great, Great British, British Bake Off. Off. So are you going to wear that for the whole season? I thought I might, yeah. yeah. it's a strong look. I don't think this show can have too much gingham. Is it weird that I fancy you now? So do I. I think a lot of kids were influenced by Vince because he wore makeup and wore girls' clothes and didn't seemingly, he wasn't seemingly one gender or the other. I mean, obviously he was a boy, but he was quite a, a bit of a girl boy and he used to talk about that. He used to call himself the confuser. Oh, it's a boy, it's a girl. I'm, oh, is it? I'm not sure I mind. <laughs> so I guess, you know, my heroes are all like that, you know? So I think we should all be free. 
you think that we're at a place now where, because of shows like The Boosh, that actually yeah. people are a little bit more tolerant of anybody that says, hey, you know what, I don't want to identify in one box or another or any of the boxes that you present to me? I hope so. I hope so. I hope some of that freedom did kind of uh, spread to the youth. No, briefly to your outfit because people will be tuning in that are uh, uh, bemused. What do you mean? Hey, like I'll show you it in full. It's like oh, a mind the chair. Hang on, I'll hold this. Yeah, that's I'll that's hold the only way to show it. It's a swivel. <laughs> spin me, Richard. Spin. Me. <laughs> 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 my mum used to wear a caftan on date night with my dad. Wow. And she'd wear no bra. Yeah. Have you got a bra on tonight? No. No. <laughs> wear no bra, it's sort of sexy. So that's what I think of when I see you in that. I think of, uh, I think of my mum with no bra on. Sprinkle evil, sucking the life from the youthful faces. The food is scared, can't come Sprinkle evil in an aging nightmare.